Google Drive Sharing 101. I thought I would do kind of a quick review of different sharing rights that are in the Google Drive within the WaylandUnion.org organization. Um, I'll show you how to get to this point in just a minute, but basically, I'm going to start at the bottom level here. Um, when you have specific people selected, this is a very safe option, you are going to know exactly who you have shared the um, document file or whatever Google file you have shared with them. Um, so this one's always a great choice, and it's pretty much the default. Um, the next choice up, you're going to need to be a little bit more careful. This is actually our PLC folders. Uh, anyone with a Wayland Union Schools with the link can access what's in there. So if you as a teacher realize this, it's only been shared with teachers, but you need to be very careful and make sure that students do not get access to this um, based on the information in there. So if you ever use this, uh, realize it's safe within our organization because anyone with waylandunion.org can access it, but they do need the link. Um, I'm suggesting in the next level, which is anyone at Wayland Union Schools, um, probably not to use this because anyone with waylandunion.org can find it and access it. Um, and in general, that's probably not a great idea. Um, there may be a few uses for it, but let's try to avoid this one. Um, often, if I don't want to worry about sign-in issues, I go up to the next one, anyone with the link. Um, you don't have to worry about being logged into Google. Uh, the bottom, these two you do. You have to log into your Google account. This one you do not. Uh, but you do need the actual link, like through an email or some way to access it. Uh, so that one I feel comfortable with. And then the most public of all is the top choice. Anybody on the Internet can search and find it. Uh, no sign-in is required. You basically realize this is completely open to the public. So the top two are public. Um, these two restrict it to Wayland Union. This one right here, you have to have the link. And then this is the most restrictive to just specific people. Now I'm going to go up here and show you. When you're on a document, like I have a Google document right here, if you just hover over this, it says private only to me. So when you first create a document, it's only you that you've shared it with. If you want to change any of that, you click on the blue share. And I could type some names in here, like let's say I'm working with Amy Hike, and it will start to look through the organization. Um, it will look, and you could probably find a few student names. Um, so you need to be aware that it's not just teachers listed on here. There are students now in the WaylandUnion.org. And if I do this, I can go ahead and send a note on there. I have given her editing rights with a little pencil or pen. It's editing. I can switch it over to view, but let's say I wanted her to be able to edit this. I can also click on send to her. So it's going to go ahead and send her a notification. Now if I go back up here, um, you can see it says shared with Amy Hike. Now what if that's not exactly what I wanted to do? You can navigate over here to advanced, and this is where I actually usually go all the time. This is going to show me a lot of things. Basically, I'm on specific people can access. Um, I'm also the owner, so I'm the one that in the end does the managing of it. Um, Amy has editing rights, and I can change that. I can also set an expiration date, like I only want her to be able to access this for so many days. Um, and I can invite other people on here, and I even have a few owner rights down here as well. Um, but let's just say I don't want to restrict it just to Amy. Um, as I mentioned, I can, like if I want to open this up to any of the teachers or students, um, but I want to give them a link, I can click on this choice. I generally do not do that. Um, we do need to be very careful with that one. I don't usually put it on the Wayland Union Schools. A lot of teachers say, well, why does everybody put all this stuff in there when I'm in the shared with me? If you select this choice, that is one way that everybody has access to it and can look for it and search for it. Um, 
typically if I'm working with a larger group of people, I don't always like everybody to have to log in. So I do select anyone with the link. Um, that way you're not logging into Google. You're just able to get on and access it. But I do quite commonly choose public on the web. Um, a lot of my documents I don't create to be unshareable. If somebody else wants to use this, they may go ahead and use this. So I typically just put public on the web. And it defaults to can view. I can make can edit, but you need to realize that I'm allowing anybody on the web to get on and edit this document. And I may not want other people to be able to edit it. So typically this will default to view. And same thing with anyone with a link in the public realm. So hopefully this has shown you after I save here um, that it's important to know how to do the Google Drive sharing correctly. If you ever have any questions, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to sit down with you. But be careful when you're in the PLC folders. Realize don't share those links out with any students. Um, that is private material for teachers and educators only. And hopefully this will save you a little time with the Google Drive.